We want to find the distance along an arc on the surface of the Earth that subtends a central angle of four minutes, where one minute equals one-sixtieth of a degree. The radius of the Earth is 3,960 miles, and we're asked to round to the thousands or three decimal places. So we'll be using the arc length formula given here, where the arc length S is equal to the length of the radius R times theta, where theta is the central angle measured in radians. So for the Earth, R is equal to 3,960 miles. And for this problem, the central angle is four minutes. So theta equals four minutes, which must be converted to radians. Let's first convert to degrees. Since one minute equals one-sixtieth of a degree, so four minutes would be equal to four times one-sixtieth of a degree. Notice if we write four over one, this will simplify. There's one four and four and fifteen fours and sixty. So our angle theta is equal to one fifteenth of a degree. But now we need to convert the angle in degrees to radians. So our angle theta would be equal to one fifteenth of a degree times, to convert from degrees to radians, we multiply by pi divided by one hundred eighty degrees. Notice how the units of degrees would simplify out, leaving us with pi divided by 15 times 180, or pi divided by 2,700, and this would be radians. Which means your arc length, S, is equal to 3,960 miles times pi divided by 2,700 radians, and now we'll go to the calculator. So we have 3,960 times pi divided by 2,700. To three decimal places, the arc length would be approximately 4.608, and because the radius is in miles, the arc length is in miles. So the arc length is approximately 4. 608 miles. So looking at this picture of the Earth here on the right, if the central angle was one fifteenth of a degree, then the arc length on the surface of the Earth, this length here, would be approximately 4.608 miles. Of course, one fifteenth of a degree is a very small angle. It would be much smaller than this angle pictured here. I hope you found this helpful.